Good morning to you, Neil. That's right. The best two-week performance of the Dow Jones Industrials going back to the Great Depression. And we've lifted off those March 23rd lows with benchmarks up roughly around 25 to 30 percent each and leaves them only 11 to 15 percent off record highs. An explosive turnaround that surprised even the U.S. president. Listen. If you would have told me that we would have a virus the likes of which this world has not seen since 1917, which was the Spanish flu, where anywhere from 75 to 100 million people were killed, and that we'd have a stock market that's not far below its all-time high. And it's starting to get a little low. Now, most investors are hoping and betting for a quick recovery in the economy, with potentially 29 states set to reopen in the phase one reopening stage. Also, as you mentioned, there might be a viable coronavirus treatment. We know that Gilead is testing remdesivir, which is showing some promising signs in the first phase of testing. And also, the U.S. government has plowed some half a billion dollars into Gilead's advanced vaccine candidates, Moderna's advanced vaccine candidates. So that's helping lift sentiment as well. And biotech really did a lot of the heavy lifting on Friday. Also, we have seen the U.S. government plow some $2 trillion in stimulus. More money might be coming as well. But the Federal Reserve really deserves a lot of the credit, cutting interest rates close to zero. And that's when, when we put in that potential March 23rd bottom and backstopping the U.S. economy from potential depression levels with close to $4 trillion in credit. But for the small businesses and the average American, the day-to-day -day stresses and concerns still have not been alleviated. We have $20 million Americans filing for unemployment benefits over the past few weeks. And small businesses like this here in New York City still remain shut. 1.6 million accessing SBA small business loans. But still, they're hoping that the U.S. president is right, that America is built to be open. And hopefully that reopening happens sooner rather than later. Neil? Susan Lee, thank you very, very much. There might be hope on that small business relief front. Remember, the Republicans are pushing $250 billion in extra small business funding for the Paycheck Protection Program. We're going to get the latest on that uh, with Senator Tim Scott. He is coming up. Stay with us.